Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So today, I just feel like I just want to play with some makeup. I haven't put makeup on myself for a couple of days and I'm feeling that withdrawal symptom. Not only that, I've got a few bits to try out, which are new to me. No, this is very new. This is very new. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer to try out. I cannot wait. I don't really buy bougie makeup and I just thought, you know, treat yourself. Um, so yeah. I also brought the new iHeart Revolution Tasty Coconut Mascara. I want to play with the birthday cake palette as well. So I want to do like a, maybe a blue pinky look with this. But yeah, this is like my favourite part of the evening. I just like to relax and just play my makeup just makes me feel good so and i just find it very therapeutic so yeah so if that's your kind of thing then keep on watching hit subscribe and let's go yeah. this hair, hair back i can't wait to get my hair done i'm getting it done at the end of june it's been too long so we are going to prime no we're not we're going to do eyeshadow first don't know what's up with me. Um, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay Eye Base, which I forever am using until there is nothing left. So I'm gonna use some eyeshadow guards today. Um, just in one of those moods where, I've been using these a lot lately. I don't know why, I've just happened to keep using them. I like the placement of them, so and I feel like I'm not that good at getting my eyeshadow even, so it's been helpful. Ugh. Are we even? No, we're not. I don't know how people put these eye guards on. It does me add in. Are we even? <laughs> Somewhat. Okay, let's just go with that. So, let's uh, get into this cute palette. So, I'm thinking of going into straight into this blue here called Balloons. I really like the blue in here. It's so pigmented. Uh, I'm just going to place that on the outer corner for now. Like, how pretty is that blue? I might use a bit of candle as well. Or should I use cake pop? Might mix these two together, candle and cake pop. So candle and cake pop. It all blends into one anyway, I'm getting. I've done this look wrong. I wasn't meant to start with the blue. I was meant to go with the pink. So I'm gonna go with macarons now. Macaroon, macaron. And I'm gonna put this on the middle. Should I put it in the middle? Yeah, let's put it in the middle of the lid. I feel like I've done this kind of look before. I'm gonna add treats. Oh, should I add ice cream or treats? Oh, ice cream looks nice, or treats. They look very similar. Yeah, ice cream and treats look very similar to each other. Um, let's go with ice cream, because I don't think I've like, used that shade. How pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in party. This color here. I'm gonna put party right in the inner corner, going into the pink. It's like a pastel purple. I wish it was more pigmented for the pastel, but it's still okay. I'm gonna go on top of it anyway. So I'm gonna use Cupcake. I really like this shade. This is so pretty. So I'm gonna use Cupcake right in the inner corner. 
on top of, um, what did we go on top of? Party, oh my God, I am so tired, bear with me. <laughs> This looks really pretty, I'm liking it so far. I'm just going over with a blending brush. I might go into frosting. I feel like a lot comes out. That's pretty. And we have got this. This is really cute, I'm liking it. I'm gonna use one of the Dr. Seuss li uh, liners and what shall I go in? I might go in either silver or green. I think the green would be so random. But I kind of like it. So I'm going to take a green eyeshadow from the birthday cake. I think it's called Wish. I'm not, yeah, it's called Wish. I really like this green. I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. Okay, now we're gonna go with the Dr. Seuss eyeliner. This is in the shade Green Eggs and Ham. Just think it makes such a difference. Like, look how nice that is. I'm just gonna go in my base now. I'm gonna use the iHeart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Serum Primer. I just love this packaging every time I open it. It's just so nice. Ooh. Whilst this is doing something to my skin, I'll go on to my brows. I haven't tried this primer with my Pretty Little Thing foundation, so. I want to see how it goes. Okay, so brows. I am going to use my two favourite brow products. <laughs> I literally use the same brow products all the time. So I've got the Lottie London Arch Arrival Volume Powder and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil Shade Taupe. I don't do a lot to my brows. I just like to do it quick and easy. Quick and easy convenience because I hate doing my brows. Like, if you love doing your brows, I applaud you because I hate doing my brows. So I tend to use the Lottie London powder first just to give my just to give my brows a base because I have very sparse thin eyebrows. I was not born with a decent brow. They've always been thin. So I just like to give them a bit of a a base. I haven't got the time to perfect them. It's 20 past 8 in the evening and yeah that's my brows brow gel this is a w7 browsicles brow wax now doesn't this look familiar this looks very similar to my abh brow freeze wax can you tell which is which which is the abh and which is w7 can you tell let's go with um w7 first and I'm just going to put my spoolie in there. Uh, put it on my hands just so we get it all in the bristles. We're going to go in. So this is just meant to stick down your brows in place, I guess. Um, that's it. However, I do think I prefer my Benefit 24 hour. I feel like the Benefit 24 hours after this one, I think it just makes it more fluffy. This one gives it, these, Waxes give more of a laminated effect, which I, I don't know if I'm feeling the laminated effect. So I'm gonna wash my spoolie so there's no W7 brow on there. And now for ABH. So it does look a bit more presentable, that brow does. Um, ABH, I've noticed the formula of ABH is much softer in the pan. I feel like ABH has got more of a hold, like it, it places them straight away. I should think so because the ABH one has cost a lot more money, but they look very similar, right? They do. So if you want to dupe, you don't want to go for the ABH, get the W7. 
So I'm going to use my Pretty Little Thing foundation. I've got it in the shade Golden Beige and Ivory Buff. I'm just going to mix these two together. I still love this foundation. <laughs> I, I honestly feel like it's underrated. Like I don't hear many people talk about it, but my skin type is very dry at the minute. And it's just been working so well on my skin type. Like I can't do matte at the minute. I just can't. I need to wet my sponge. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Right back. Sponge is now wet. Now we go in. Honestly, doing my sponge is so annoying. Yeah, so this primer works well with this foundation. It's sticking down pretty well. There's no pilling, which is good. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go in my concealer now. This is the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating in the shade Fair. So I'm there. Oh, that was a bit too much, wasn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> and now, trying this. So, I brought this the other day. I also brought this, where is it? Don't do this to me. No, I have the bloody brush with it as well but I don't know where it is. Found it. I literally was going crazy then. Uh, I also brought the brush with it so we can try this out. Altogether, it ain't cheap. I think it was like 60 something. Um, I had a discount on it. I don't know if the discount code is still available, but I used Sparkle with Soph discount. Uh, I'll try and link a video down below and you can get like a cheeky discount on it. I got the shade Fair and loads of people were saying like if you are shade medium in the airbrush powder don't get the shade medium in this because there's a massive shade difference so i just went with shade fair and this packaging is absolutely stunning and i feel like this is the right shade i have i have tried it behind camera because there's no way i could wait for a video to try this i had to like try it straight away as soon as i got the post and i'm really liking it so i got the brush as well um i just want the full effect of the product i mean you don't need to get the brush but i like to have application that every little helps because yeah i just do like look how beautiful that pan is and swatch it feels so smooth that's what the shade looks like so the fair i would say would make a good contour because it is quite cool neutral shade this one is and i think it would look nice with my complexion so let's let's go in i'm just gonna pat it first My sun kissed, yeah. That is so nice. This is my first cream bronzer, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that because my memory is terrible. And yeah. It's effortless. Actually, no. <laughs> the other cream bronzer that I've tried is the Reload Revolution. Of course, it's not going to beat. Of course, this is not going to beat this because this was like three quid. This is stunning. However, I still do like that. I found another brush for it, but this is the one. I don't have many bougie products and, you know, I just have to do it. It just glides into the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It, it just blends into the skin. Like it doesn't feel like it's left. It doesn't feel like it's sitting on my skin, basically. It's very comfortable. And I really like this brush. This brush is so soft, like so, so, so soft. But yeah, I have tried it before off camera and I liked it then and of course I'm gonna like it now, but every time I put it on, I just, I just really like it, yeah. It's so big as well, it's huge. I'm gonna travel with this and I'm actually quite scared because it's so big and I don't wanna damage it. But yeah, really stunning. Was it worth it? Was it worth breaking the bank? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I don't have a new blush at the minute. I'm just gonna use what I've been using at the minute. This is the XX Revolution Powerpuff Girls Bubbles Liquid Blush. Let's see how it sits on top of this. I still can't get over this blush, you know. Yeah, 
I really like it. I'm going to powder a bit. I'm going to use the W7 Banana Dream powder. This isn't really new to me. I've had it a couple of weeks. I guess it is still kind of new. Okay, I'm just going to quickly put on my Too Faced lip injection uh, lip gloss. This is a half a shade. It, it just... It just says lip injection maximum plump, extra strength, instant and long term lip plumper. And that's it, it doesn't have a shade or anything, but I love the packaging, it's like so cute. This kind of packaging and this is just my favourite fantasy. <laughs> so for highlight, I'm gonna go my Too Faced Diamond Fire. Love this. And then I'm gonna spray myself because I feel like I need it. This is the ALF I Heart Revolution Long Stay Fixing Spray. Hopefully the powders can melt melt into my skin. I'm nearly running out of this. Mm, that always smells good. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm just gonna go in my Primark Foxy Nude. Do they still make this shade? Because I really need to get another one. Then on top of it, I'm just gonna go in my I Heart Revolution Tangled Lip Topper. Wow, I feel like all the makeup I've used today, just they don't, the packaging and everything will go. I just want to test this mascara because it was five pound. It is the I Heart Revolution Coconut Conditioning Mascara and it's got coconut extracts in it. So hopefully that can promote lash growth, which I do need. Curl my lashes for 30 seconds. I'm going to use the Brushworks, is it Brushworks? Yeah, Brushworks Eye Curler. And I'm just going to keep pinching it for 30 seconds. And uh, we're done. So let's give this a go. So the wand is quite big. Oh, it's quite flexible as well. That's what the wand looks like. And this is the packaging. This mascara came out with a lot of base stuff like coconut primer and other stuff with the tasty coconut range. I only picked up the mascara though. So let's give it a go. Oh, so already I'm having the separation coming through. Oh wow. Oh wow. Didn't expect that. You see how long my lashes are? <laughs> oh, okay. That has really surprised me. I did not expect that at all. We have length, we have separation. We don't have much of the volume going on, but if this is gonna help my lashes grow, I'm happy with that. And this is such a nice everyday mascara. So good. I really did like the Tasty Watermelon Mascara as well, but this one, this one beats it. Right, this is my bad eye. So let's see if it performs well on this lash. My eyelashes never look like this from mascara on. Okay, it could be a combination of things. It could be the eye curler. I mean, what the hell? It could be the coconut. I don't know. But there's something in this magic mascara that is lengthening him. But not only just that, it's lifting my lashes. I mean, again, that could be the eyelash curler, but what this is doing props to my lashes, this one is. My, honestly, my eyelashes are so straight usually. And yeah, I need to. Oh. Okay, so it is very wet. I did get it on my skin. So I'm gonna wait till that dries a bit. Just a fun look, isn't it? So guys, that was my get ready with me with some new products. The highlight of the products of what I've just used are definitely the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and that mascara. That mascara, I'm just so surprised because it costs five pound and it's it's not volumizing, so don't expect volume, but expect a lengthening and separation. Of course, the Tasty Birthday Cake is still such a beautiful, cute palette to have in my collection. Um, you can just create so many fun looks with it. I still need to do 
a neutral look with it maybe. It's just so colourful. But yeah, let me know what you think of this makeup look. Have you tried any of the products that I've tested out today? What are your thoughts and opinions? And yeah, if you did like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And of course, if you want to see more from me, then hit the subscribe button down below. But yeah, other than that, I hope you have a lovely day. Now every time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one.